In a prior episode, we talked about removing unwanted objects. Now I want to show you a little more challenging problem and take it to the next level. So for this first image, we're going to use our quick select tool to select the area that we want to remove. If we were to wander outside of the bounds, we could hold Option or Alt to click on an area. And if we wanted to add more, we could hold Shift and click on an area. But that looks pretty good. What we want to do is modify that and expand it. And this is a pretty high-res file, so I'm going to expand it quite a bit. That looks good. Now I can hit the Delete key and have Content Aware fill that in. And it's done a decent job, but the road just sort of abruptly ends. And here we encounter our first trickier problem. I can't clone in perspective. The road is getting larger as it approaches me. So I need to edit in perspective. And to do that, we're going to use Photoshop's little magical world called Vanishing Point, which allows us to place a perspective grid. I just want to follow the contour of the road here, make sure that my lines are in parallel there. And what I'm going to do is just pull this towards me. And we can see that we've got a perspective grid. And if we notice, over on the left here, we have a clone stamp. I've got some size options, opacity, and even healing. And what I'm going to do is just option click on the area that I want to clone. And you see that our preview works in perspective. If I were to travel back in the image, it gets smaller. Forward, it gets larger. So what I can do is just clone this out in perspective. You can do all sorts of really neat things in Vanishing Point. Cloning is just one of them. OK, so let's cancel out of that and look at another difficult situation, which is removing power lines. Now, if this was just a straight line, we could shift click with our spot healing brush. But using our spot healing brush on a curved area is a little trickier. And just as a reminder, the way that this used to work, before Content Aware, this would get blurred or garbled. And luckily, we have this Content Aware option, but we really want to train it along that line. We don't want to wander too far off the line. So I want to show you a great trick to doing that. And we're going to use the Path tool. We're going to click at the beginning of the power line. Again, over on the far right. Once more in between. And then holding the Command key, we're going to pull that down to cover the line. When we've got that set just the way we want it, we're going to come back to our Spot Healing Brush. We're going to make sure it's on Content Aware. And we're going to set our brush using Control and Option or Control and Alt to be a pretty small size and a pretty hard brush, too. That looks good. I'm going to come over to my Path panel. And with that path selected, I'm going to come down here. And I'll see that I have an option to stroke the path with my brush. I click on that, and that power line just magically disappears. With this path selected, I can now delete it and see that that line is gone. Again, if it were a straight line, I could just Shift click, and that would pull it out of there. But now you know how to train it along a curved line. So whether you're cloning in perspective or removing power lines, those are a couple of great additions to your playbook for taking your retouching to the next level.